how to set up the apartment codes is that basically means how to put a password on the copier to restrict users from printing colors and black and white to do that you will log into the top access through the web interface with the IP address click on the administration tab log in with the password log in once you do that go to the user management right next to the administration click on the user management click on the department management there's a link right below once you're in there in here you can start creating new users to pretty much to create passwords for each individual user or each department we're going to go ahead and create one click on new we're going to go ahead and give a user here test one give them a code it's going to be again it must be a five digit code click save oh as you can tell this code has already been used so we need to use another code so that's a five digit code so you're not able to use the same code for another user now once you do that click on save the user is created right here at test one uh, once you create the user you can always come back to this feature and take a look exactly click on the user and it gives you more details what the user the user has been doing with their department code how many print jobs that are they have done to the copier or copies from the copy now again if you do also need to delete a user same option click on the user delete it and the user is gone you could click on this user also delete it and the user is gone again that's how you set up department codes this is the first step administration login go to user management department management and start creating new users now once you create let's create that user back again and give it the password and then click on save oh you do also have some options to set limitations in color or in black and white for now we will to leave these off once you leave this two off that basically means they could print as much as they want in color or black and white but it will track them every time they print or copy from the copier click on save okay that basically now you could create as many users as you want but the the feature is not turned on yet to turn the feature on so the copier would notify the user they need to print uh, with a particular password up here you have a link that says authentication once you're in the authentication mode the first option where it says department settings click on that you want to go ahead and enable it click on enable once you do that it gives you some features where you can go to the department copy uh, of course you want that enable it's going to prompt them to enter their password every time they, every time they print to the copier fax feature you also want that enable that means every time they try to fax from the copier uh, it will track them to see how many fax jobs, fax jobs they have been doing it's up to you if you want to enable this feature or disable it print jobs same thing management print you want to leave that enabled so you can track to see scan option now it's up to you if you want to leave the scan option turn on or off or enable or disable the reason behind it because the scan feature it's not using any tone or everything is digital so it's up to you if you like to just leave it disable or enable if you leave it disable that means every time the user clicks on scan on the copier it will not prompt them for a password if you leave it enabled it will prompt them for a password this department list that must stay enabled that's there by default this is the way you get pretty much you get this feature turned on once the department code is, uh, is enabled click on finish it's enabled now the next time you go to the copier the copier will the screen will change and it will prompt them for your password same thing if you are printing to the copier once the user prints to the copier it will prompt them for a password to print any jobs to the copier this way you could track to see who's doing what and what department is printing the amount of copies to the copier now I'm going to go ahead and just disable this feature in this particular copier because we're not going to use it at the moment for testing purposes now if you do need to see a log on the copier for the department codes this is the way it's done to get a log for the department codes or to track to see the codes 
how many print jobs have been sent to the copier with the department code feature turned on, the password feature turned on, log into the top axis with the IP address through your Internet Explorer or any browser. Go to the admin mode, log in, log in. Now to get that report, you're going to go into the maintenance link. Look for the link that says export clear log. Click on that. Go ahead and scroll down. You're going to go ahead and look for this particular counter. Did you have two counters actually here, but this one here says department code export small and large counters. Just click and create a new file. The file is created. You also have this one at the bottom that says department code export department code information. This is this one is more detailed. So you can click on that to create those two files. Once that's created, you just go ahead and scroll back down. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the first one, this one here. Right click on it, left click, save target as. I'm gonna go ahead and save it on my desktop. Save it. I'm gonna go ahead and open it. It's just again, it's basically a, an Excel file. This is gonna tell you now the users here, the department code, and it's gonna tell you what the users they have been doing, how many copy prints they have, how many fax prints, black large, black small, copy prints, black large. Now again, for the black large, that basically means any users are printing anything larger than eight and a half by 11, say your legal leisure size paper, anything larger than eight and a half by 11, the count will, will show up here. That's why this one says large and small will be your basic a and a half by 11 but this one will pretty much give you all the settings all the jobs that this particular user has been doing this will be your report and again now uh, you could save this one thing about the department codes it will keep counting it will not stop counting for a user so you someone must someone must maintain the department uh, report maybe once a month someone has to come in create this report uh, write down the name uh, well actually the report has a date so you know what date this report was created uh, once you save it as you can tell us it gives you the date right at the end right here so you can leave it with that particular day so you know what day that report was created and you could track it from that day to the next day so we're gonna save it yes click yes so again uh, the report the department codes uh, when it starts tracking it does not stop so a report must be generated either once a month and those dates will be chosen by someone like by someone in your office to get that particular report okay we'll save it say yes yes once that's there that's the report you need also this one down here the rep the last report at the bottom is basically it just gives you more details uh, you can take a look at this report too. save it open it as you can tell this just gives you the limitation it gives you now if it's turned on or turned off it just gives you more and more cells and more details so so it's up to you which report you want to create and see and again these reports must be maintained by the users and depending how you're tracking your reports and how you're tracking uh, the codes and how you track in the users the report must be utilized by someone to be generated at least uh, it could be once a month or once quarterly to get your uh, print count per user or per department so this is a way you will again uh, track your department codes usage print jobs from the copy